Hatta tattabi'ah. They will not be happy with you until you follow their religion. Amazing statement. They will not be pleased with you until you follow their religion. And see Allah specified al-Yahuda and nasara In today's time, we see ourselves, so many of our people, trying to please al-Yahuda and nasara Please them through what? Through changing the religion. I'm trying to... Please, now, I want you to... People say, you know, these mullahs and scholars uh, are very close-minded. But I'm here requesting all of our listeners today and for years to come, inshallah, to be open-minded. I want you to be over open-minded and listen to this carefully. That how many people we have who, through trying to be nice, plead, they want to please the other people by trying to be nice. How they try to be nice? Very, very humble, showing great manners. Now, part of showing great manners, if these people are there, I'm not going to make wudu. Don't make wudu. It doesn't look nice. If these people are there, I'm not going to perform salah. It doesn't look nice. Because of these people, because of these people, I'm going to change my dress. Because of these people, I will not allow my daughter to wear her hijab. Because of these people, I will not allow my son to grow his beard. Because of these people, I will not make my son miss Salatul Jum'ah, the class, because of Jum'ah. Because the teachers will not like it. They will think Islam is too strict. So many different things we're doing. And then, because of these people, we will have gatherings in our masajid where we will invite them. We will have everyone in the same hall of the masjid because if we separate men and women, then that looks bad on Islam and we won't even require them to have any type of a special dress when coming to the masjid because that will also look very bad. We want them to have their freedom and come to the masjid however they want. And we that day, although we have separate uh, areas allocated for men and women, but that day we will take all of that out so that these people will be happy. How many things we are doing for that? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, now pay attention. Who was the best person in the world on the highest level of morality? Everyone has to agree. وَإِنَّكَ لَعَلَىٰ خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ That is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is at the highest level of morality. And if Allah is telling him, telling Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, with all of that, yet they will not be happy with you. So now, can we please anyone just by trying to look good? No. Why? Because this is not what they want from you. This is not what they want from you. What they want from you is, وَالْعِيَازُ بِاللَّهُ وَالْعِيَازُ بِاللَّهُ وَالْعِيَازُ بِاللَّهُ For this person to denounce Islam. That's it. In today's world, how clear that is. You be very, very humble. You don't hurt no one. You don't hurt no one. You don't cheat no one. You never lie. You never do anything that could harm anyone in any way. And another person comes and he curses at your prophet. He curses at your religion. He makes fun of your religion. If you say anything back to this person, you are bad in the eyes of the world. And that person is good. Isn't it? That's what, this is, is, isn't this what's happening in the world? Now, when people like Salman Rushdie, when they are receiving prizes 
from all different governments in different parts of the world. Why is he receiving it? Just because he wrote a book against Islam. Isn't this exactly what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying? They will not be pleased with you until you follow their religion. Everyone knows the chief way of popularity, of earning popularity, of becoming famous today, talk against Islam. And you will become very famous. You will get security guards, you will get prizes, you will be invited by all the prime ministers, you will be taking pictures with all of those people, and inshallah with those pictures, you will be certified to go to Jahannam. So, that's the only way. Jews and Christians will never be pleased with you until you follow their faith. قُلْ إِنَّ هُدَى اللَّهِ هُوَ الْهُدَى O Muhammad, tell them, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, surely the guidance of Allah is the true guidance. I cannot follow any other way of life. وَلَئِنِ اتَّبَعْتَ أَهْوَاءَهُمْ And if you were to follow their whims, their desires, after having the knowledge that you have received, if Allah is telling Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if you were to follow their desires, Allah will not have anyone to help you and support you. Imagine what Allah would tell us. If we follow the desires of those who are going away from the deen of Allah, if we follow their desires, we follow what they want. After having the knowledge that we have, Quran with us, a hadith with us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, مَا لَكَ مِنَ اللَّهِ مِنْ وَلِيٌّ وَلَا نَصِيرٌ You will have neither a helper, a supporter, or a friend. 